All right, guys. I want to tell you the truth about all of these solar power inverters. Hey, don't, don't be talking about my hair. I know. Okay? Just relax. Just don't, don't worry. All right? That's all I got right now. So, as you guys know, I got tons of these things. I've been testing them and testing them and testing them in, in toy haulers and in motor homes. More there. One in there. Another in there. Panels. 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 I've been testing the crap out of these things and i got more in the other garage and i am be honest with you guys so and this is for this is not for your like um van life person uh if you're in a van yeah you can use one of these shit you go forever if you're not in a van you got a toy hauler or motorhome and you're some of my or the majority of my subscribers subscribers that go to the desert well as you know we use some power out there uh whether it's lights blenders Fridges, you know, um, whatever, using TVs, you know, blowing stuff up, air compressors, regardless what it is, guys. I'm going to be completely honest with you. These things bang for your buck. Well, flat out, they are not worth it. And I'm going to tell you why. So, again, I'm going to repeat myself. This is not for, I'm not talking for van people. I'm talking for motorhome trailer people that need power. And, and look at this. So... This thing has been running since 545. I just I just plugged it in here. I just wanted to see. It is down. Oh, here, here's another thing. The fan on the majority of these do not freaking shut off. It is absolutely obnoxious. Now, I know you're not going to hear this when this thing is closed and you're in the motorhome. Listen. You don't hear it. I get that. It's the whole purpose of you're paying all this money... And this thing just stays running. And imagine the heat buildup that's going to be, you know, with this thing is shut. And and now say, so for me, this thing has an inverter in it. So it doesn't matter. My kids can watch TV. Uh, you know, everything still works. But for the average person that has a toy hauler that doesn't have an inverter or that has a motorhome that doesn't have an inverter or that has a motorhome and... I don't know, some of like these older motorhomes will only power certain things. So say you got an RV or, or, or Class C, anything. And you're like, you know what, you, know, you got a compartment, you want to put one of these in there. While you're driving, it will work. But you get about like, I'm like this one. So like I said, 545 it is currently right now. And oh, I forgot to tell you the watts I am pulling here. I will show you right here. I'm pulling like five, 600 watts. Look, I have lights in a fridge on. Look at this. See that? 500 watts. This fan will not shut off. It's just, it's annoying. So 500 watts. This is a 2,000 watt solar power inverter. And it is currently, I didn't even check the time. Let's see. The time, 638. So it has not been one hour yet. I plugged this in at 545. Been pulling the same consistent watts. 500 watts the entire, 5, 550 the entire time, is down to 60%, which tells me this thing is maybe going to get two hours. That's another thing. You pay all this money, like this company, they don't even tell you how long it's going to last. This company does. Uh, it's pretty cool. You know, this is called All Power. But again, you know, this thing is so obnoxious because the damn fan does not shut off. So say you put this in your toy hauler or your motorhome, when you do get to the desert or wherever you're going, you plug it in. As soon as you kick this thing on, plug anything in the fan turns on. Now, here's the thing, you know, a couple things that are cool about it is, well, it's got Bluetooth. So you hit this and you can monitor it from your phone. There you go. So Bluetooth now is enabled. Cool. That's, that's awesome. You know, you can check it from your phone, see what you're pulling. But now, as soon as anything gets plugged in boom fan kicks on i know you guys are like well you can hook up you know solar panels yes you can i'm not gonna walk outside every damn time to hook up four five six freaking panels i'm not doing that um and you know mounting them on a roof is not that easy and drilling holes and nobody wants to do that everybody i don't care what anybody says people want simplicity people want just easy they don't want to go on vacation, go to the desert and work and pull this out and do a hundred million different things. They want to minimize what they're doing. So for you to get one of these and start pulling panels out and 
setting them up and all oh, the sun chains. Let me adjust it. Like that's no, I'm not doing it. That's why I still, when I go to the desert, believe it or not, guys, I use still my Westinghouse 4500. That's what I'll be using for this thing. You don't have to worry about it, you know, running out of batteries. Um, I mean, the thing lasts 10 hours, 12 hours on fuel. I mean, it lasts a long time on fuel. It's got a 30 amp plug. Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah, you know, you can hear it. But you, you got to pick your battle. You can't have the best of both worlds. So, you know, just like this. Yeah, it's great. You know, no fuel. 2,000 watts. Hear the fan. And, well, you don't get a lot of, you know, runtime, I guess you should say. Same thing with this. I mean, look, I've only been talking for, I don't know, barely 10 minutes. And it's already dropped down to 58%. And it's still 500 watts. Now, I have a bigger one I'm going to put in here. It is a... Um, EcoFlow 2000 watt I'm going to put in there and it's a little bigger a little taller it's got some more punch into it uh, but again I probably still going to get maybe three hours an extra hour maybe so this would this this would be cool like say you're you're in your class C motorhome or class A motorhome and you're driving somewhere and you don't have an inverter you want to put one of these in there so you have power for the TV Cool, you can do that. I just think for how expensive all of these are, guys, they should give you, the, you know, your bang for your buck. You should get more out of it. Like, they should all have a Bluetooth feature. Uh, they should all have, you know, like this thing says when it's going to die. It is so inaccurate. It's crazy. Uh, you know, I plugged it. When I, so believe it or not, and I'll show you. I plugged this one into here, pulling 500 watts. It says it's going to die in 10 minutes. Which, I know it's not going to die in 10 minutes. I know it's got enough watt hours, amp hours in this battery for it not to die in 10 minutes. And I tried it. did not die in 10 minutes. So, these things are just, they're not there yet. And for you guys that have DM'd me and asked me, hey, what, what are you using? You know, what, uh, you know, inverter or solar power generator are you using? Honestly, guys, not. I don't use any of them. Uh, they're, they're just not for me. I don't know. Maybe for you guys. Now. I will say, I am going to try some. So I am getting an enclosed trailer. Now, when I do get an enclosed trailer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have a, um, I have another one I'll show you. It's a huge, like massive one. It won't even fit in this compartment right here. 2,000 watts got a massive spare battery, like big spare battery. That's the thing with these. If they gave you huge, and, and this is another con. So when you start getting into these big, huge, you know, or small, no, smaller ones like this, good. But when you start getting into ones that last, you need a, a freaking battery to fill this whole entire compartment for it to last. You know, let me go show you the other one that lasts. Okay, so this one right here, not this, this is this is probably the most useless one they've ever sent me. And I even told them, no, please don't send me this. This is, what, what the hell am I going to power with this thing? An iPhone charger? Like this one is, pff, I don't know, useless. Now. This big behemoth right here. So look at this freaking thing. Now, and, and here it is. Here, look at the size of this thing right here. So the reason why it lasts is because this big behemoth has this battery, which gives you three times the amount of time, pretty much, of how long you can run. It also has a nice, massive screen. Oh, probably should turn it on first. Okay, and I and I did a video on this one. This thing's awesome. But now here's the thing. It oh, and it's nice. Does have a uh, time to empty, you know, to let you know, hey, you got this much time or yada yada. But here's the thing, you know, look at this. I mean, it is huge. Does have solar option, you know, to plug in as all of them. But you know, one downfall is well, it's only got two plugs on it. So I know you can get extensions and adapters, and they're all two thousand watt. 4,000 surge every time. 2,000 watt, 4,000 surge. Blah, 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 Same thing with these companies, you know, and that's full. So this thing will last you a long, long time, but I can't even pick this thing up. So you try to pick up both of these right now, and it's, you'll get it, but it's heavy. I mean, this is something that like, and what I was saying about the trailer, when I get a trailer, I'm going to try this. So I'm going to put this big behemoth in the corner. And I'm actually going to mount a bunch of solar panels on top. And I'm going to see, and I'll plug my motorhome into the trailer and see if this thing, because here, here's the thing, guys. When you're pulling four or 500 watts during the day and you've got six, seven, 800, you know, watts of solar, that's fine. 
that's okay, but the thing is lasting through the night. I have tested this. This thing does last through the night very close, like barely, depending on what lights you got on, what TVs are on, what you got going on. But it does last through the night, but it's a big behemoth. Now, to charge it back up, you need to make sure that if you're using four or 500 watts, you better have 600 watts of solar, you know, or, you know, 800 watts of solar because this, that, you know, here's the problem. This will not charge back up on solar without you having a million panels on just panels itself. Like you need a ton of panels. So for this thing to go back to a hundred, you need a boatload of panels. So what I did was, which it defeats the entire purpose of these things. I used it throughout the night so you don't have to listen to the generator. Then in the morning, I would start the generator, you know, and uh, charge this thing up. So at the end of the day, guys, you're going back to a, well, where's my Westinghouse 4500? Oh, you can't see. Oh, I'll show it to you. But at the end of the day, you're going back to a generator. So it's, I don't know. Like I said, they're not, they're not for me, guys. So everybody that's been asking me, yeah, I'm not into them. There you go. Bam, right there. My Westinghouse 4500. Dude, this thing is the bomb right here. I mean, I don't even know how many hours I got it. I have on it, but this thing has never let me down, dude. It is a badass generator. You got your, uh, you know, just your 110 outlets there but i mean who who used that you got a bam look at that 30 amp right there it's even a remote start so here's what's awesome is say uh you're going to bed at night you know you want to turn this off shut it off and then in the morning you don't have to get out you can get out of your bed even if you're butt ass naked boom hit the remote what the thing and it'll fire right up then if you really got some balls you can bring this one right here this is a predator 9500 this thing I don't bring to the desert. I can barely push this thing. If there's just a little incline, I'm not even pushing it. Uh, all this thing is to run my house. So you can see here, I just got a male to male suicide cord and plug it in, you know, and this thing just runs the house. Now what I'm going to do, check this out, is I'm going to just as a backup, probably not gonna use it because I have the 9500, but I'm gonna switch this plug out, switch the wires also. I'm gonna put a 50 amp right here. So when I start the generator, boom, it will switch over to this where it's got power, 50 to the 50 amp into uh, the 50 amp that's on the other side of this. And bam, I could even use the generator here to power or in the coach to power uh, the home where the 9500 is good. But just in case, who you know, who knows if it fails or something, I have a backup and it's got 150 gallons. So, so we're good on fuel. Now you see? The Blue Yeti, this big behemoth right here is nice. You got two, there goes the fan. Look at this thing up, oh, this, that drives me nuts. So, like I was saying before I get interrupted, this big behemoth right here, 2000 watt, 2000 watt hours. This thing has plugs all over. Now, this, couple pros and cons thing into this one. Pro, looks awesome. Con, this thing's heavy. It's a big behemoth. Now, the main con is, so turn the AC on, your alternating current right here on. You plug in, it does not tell you how much time you have, which sort of sucks because, well, I guess it sucks and it doesn't. The majority of these things are always wrong when they tell you how much time you have. I, you know, I, I wish they just, they made these things, put a little more time into it, but you know, this is it guys. This is what we get. Yeah.